why do we need a virtual resource? Or let me say, what is virtual resource? This is the most asked questions in my life. Why don't we assign real resource to the project? Virtual resource? What is it? How can I unify different units of activities in P6 and get the total progress of a project? Yes, this is actually what I want to say. Without saying anything, I want to dive into project. We have piping, ceramic and concrete works. Piping unit is meter, ceramic is a square meter, and concrete is cubic meter. We suppose to finish each with 50 of their units. The project is continued and we got the actual in the first week. 10 of each unit, 10 meter of piping, 10 square meter ceramic, and 10 cubic meter of concrete. So, 20% we have progress in each activity. In this way, can I say in total I have 60% progress in my project? Is it right? Absolutely not. How can I see the overall progress in my project? Here, weight factor shows itself to help us. Actually, weight factor relies on two items, man hour and cost. Here, we assign just one resource to all these activities with different units. So, instead of assigning a bunch of resources to one activity, we just assign one resource. It is called virtual resource. Here, we calculate the total man hours which we need for finishing one activity and insert in this virtual resource in budgeted unit section. We said weight factor relies on two items. One was man hour and the other one is cost. Yes, we can also insert cost to this virtual resource. It is not necessary, but it is ideal to insert costs into virtual resource because later we want to get performances of costs like CPR, cost performance index from our project. So it illuminates the next steps. Now, if you want to be precise in your scheduled project and dig into detail and solve the challenges easily in bottlenecks, it is better to assign virtual resources.